What's up, YouTube? I'm Corey. Welcome back. We got something cool to talk about today. We're talking about Anarchist Wire. Uh, today, I'm going to talk a little bit about Anarchist Wire, give you my thoughts, a quick review, and I'm going to do a build, but I'm not going to show you the whole build. I'm going to speed right through it. Uh, I'm going to, you know, make it a little time-lapse video because uh, I don't do anything crazy fancy. I mean, if I was doing Clapton's or, you know, going to venture out like that, maybe I'd show you if I got good at it, but I'm not really going to go that crazy. So um, I'm excited to share some thoughts on this. This is something cool and unique that uh, I got introduced to recently. Um, like I said, I was a basic vapor for a while. You know, I would just use normal canthal. But this stuff has certainly changed the way that I look at, uh, you know, rebuilding and uh, vaping on mech mods and, you know, regulated and unregulated devices. So, uh, if this is your first time uh, viewing me, thank you and uh, welcome. If this is not your first time, welcome back. Uh, but as we start every one of my videos, I'd like to welcome you to the Cloud Corner. Right, guys what we're here to talk about today is this stuff this is anarchist competition wire comes in these bags in the back you have wire um, which is competition wire it is an 80 competition wire comes in uh, engages from 20 to 26 so 20 22 24 and 26 I will link in the description where you can pick it up but it is manufactured by own boy OC or Dwayne as some of you know him um, but it, it's a uh, collaboration between local vape and anarchist manufacturing um, I gotta say I didn't know too much about this uh, until let's see Reno, when I went to uh, VaporCon West, uh, I actually uh, got to talk to Dwayne for a little bit, and um, I got to actually talk to him after the Plumes of Hazard show he was on. I got to talk to him in a Google Hangout, and, um, you know, I really hadn't had, had too much experience uh, with it, or I haven't actually uh, vaped on it, so he was kind enough to, to send me out some. And I got it after we got back from VaporCon. So at VaporCon, I was able to try out some. And I was like, you know what? This is a totally different vape. It heats up, you know, really different than Canthol. Because I had tried, you know, two mods side by side, you know. And it, it was different. But I really needed to get hands-on with it and try, you know, the same build. Because, you know, two different builds, obviously, the heat-up times are going to be different. So once I got home... Boom, I had a package waiting. I was like, yes, fate mail, you know, the greatest feeling in the world. So I immediately dug in uh, after some sleep because I was exhausted from the jet lag. Uh, it was the longest flight of my life. That was like six hours. It was the longest flight I've been on in my life, actually. And the farthest, the furthest west I've been actually going to Reno. Uh, but I'm, I was super excited. I got it done. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't die or anything. So I was actually <laughs> happy with that. So I, I dove into Anarchist Wire, and it's pretty much all I've been using. Um, the ramp up time is significantly different. Uh, I can see a huge difference in the actual quality uh, of the vape. I get I, for some reason I get more flavor. With this, uh, I use the same cotton. I use, you know, you know, Kojin dough. The build I do was the same. I do, uh, normally I do a 24 gauge 8 wrap. And, uh, it definitely ramps up faster with that, with the, uh, Anarchist wire. If I'm using my regulated device, like my, uh, my dog mods, if I'm using my dog mods, sometimes I'll have an issue uh, after I build it, I'll need to throw it on my uh, unregulated to pinch the coils because it'll be too low prior to it won't fire. It'll short out because it's too low. So I have to fire it up on here, pinch it, and then I'll be able to go on here. So 
it'll be too, it'll be lower than a point one or lower than a point one, so it won't fire on the SX350 chip. So I'll fire it on here. I'll pinch it. Then it'll be you know a point two, so I'll be able to fire it on there. That's the only problem I've had with it. It's not really a problem because I have the device to to uh, you know fix fix the the issue with. But um, with my unregulated, I have no issues whatsoever. The build that I'm actually going to do tonight, uh, the one that I'm going to speed through, actually, I'm going to do a time lapse. I'm going to speed up the video. It's going to go through really quickly so you don't have to watch my pain in the ass, you know, 15 minute whatever build. Because I take a long time to build because, I'm, you know, I'm slow. I'm not as fast as, you know, Kent, you know, Twisted, who actually uh, gave me this Addy that I am going to do a review on very shortly. Thanks, bud. Um, so I'm going to put that, uh, or I'm going to um, speed through that for you. But overall, this Anarchist Wire is definitely something different. Now, for competition, I can see why it's got the name Competition Wire. Because when you're in a cloud comp or something and you you have that, you know, three seconds and then you got to take that huge rip, you don't want to have to wait for a ramp up time because you can't press that button before. So you want you want it to be able to ramp up as fast as possible so you can get that monster hit. You know, like... And it's really, really a satisfying vape. Um, I have on here uh, a 22 gauge six wrap and it heats up quite nice and i really enjoy it on the twisted messes addy on my titan from silver steam vapor <laughs> gotta drop some names get my two percent no i'm just kidding uh okay so what i'll do now is uh i'll throw you to the video and then uh, i'll sum up my final thoughts but other than that pricing and uh you know website i'll throw in the description uh, Lab Rat Liquids has got um, Anarchist Wire for sale, so I'll link it down in the description, and you can get some from him, as well as the cotton, uh, which I don't actually have, but you can get some from them as well. I know he's got that. So um, I'll put the pricing and the link down below. We'll get to the build, and then you'll see my final thoughts. Alright guys, let's sum things up. Let's sum things up. Let's get you out of here. I've taken enough of your time. Uh, so the build I just did came out really good. It's very flavorful. Um, and it heats up really good. I'll take a quick, uh, quick vape for you. <laughs> just kidding hopefully hopefully i don't get a c and d from that um <laughs> so what i really wanted to sum up was uh through the time that i've known Dwayne or own boy oc um i know that he puts the time into the product and i can see that uh in in the product i've had absolutely no issues with the wire uh it's given me nothing but great performance and i personally like it so that leaves me to the final thoughts in which, would I buy it again? Or would I buy it? Period. Yes. Absolutely. And I will continue to buy it. Um, it's great, and I personally like it. The ramp-up time is, is much better than normal Canthal, and I uh, haven't had an issue. 
So, uh, yes. But once again, all my opinions are my opinions. Um, what I would say is I think absolutely you should try them. So, like I said in the description, head over to Lab Rat Liquids and absolutely try it. Uh, if you don't like it, then you don't like it. But you can't knock it till you try it. And I was the same way. I was, like, skeptical. I was like, you know what? It's just wire. You know, what's the big difference? But when I tried it, I was like, oh, I see the big difference now. <laughs> and now I haven't been able to put this stuff down. So um, I'll leave you guys with that. Uh, those are my final thoughts. <laughs> Anarchist wire. Anarchist competition wire. Wins the competition. Go check it out. If you like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and if you want, share the video around. Um, I will be going to Vape Mania next week. Like I said, I will cover the event. I will be shooting some videos. I will be documenting the whole trip down, so I'll be doing a whole vloggy weekend type deal uh, with some cool cameos. And... Um, you should have a video or two before then, or probably probably one more video before then. Um, and uh, I want to thank you guys for uh, tuning in. I appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you next time on the Cloud Corner.